Hey everybody, Accurate here. Welcome to Frostpunk. Just want to thank you guys for putting a bug in the ear of 11-Bit Studio, letting them know that you wanted me to preview this. And they hooked me up with a preview queue, so thank you to them as well. So this is a genre that they are claiming that they uh, have just developed. And it's basically going to be a city builder, survival, and society simulation at the same time. So rather than be, you know, something like... Sur you know, like surviving on Mars or something like that, or aliens or anything. Something. It's going to be like a post-apocalyptic type survival on Earth. Um, so with with it has it has a lot of uh, the same flair as this War of Mine, a lot of same sort of artwork with it, and uh, sort of has that steampunk kind of feel to it as well. So a brief little rundown: become a leader of a steam-powered city, the last bastion of humanity. Oversee your society, manage resources, and make difficult, ambiguous choices. But whatever you do, always remember the city must survive. So there we go. Let's get into this. All right, so I messed around with this, so I'm uh, a little bit familiar. I'm not bumbling around. Um, well, I will be bumbling around. It's just not as much as if it was straight, you know, the first time playing. So uh, it is a lot of fun, and uh, let's get into this. So to preserve civilization from... The chaos of its own downfall. We have fled to the ends of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will we become in the process? So this scenario is called A New Home. And in the preview uh, beta that I have right now, before the full release on uh, April 24th, uh, I only have the one scenario. Now, the full release will have more than one scenario. It'll have multiple scenarios. And uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. Also, it should be about $30. Uh, US on Steam. I will provide a link in the description below if you guys do want to uh, go check it out. So let's get into this and uh, let's see if we can't avoid frostbite. A new home. We fled from London and across the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find it's frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now, that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. So this is our little crater of Arctic death. This is the generator in the middle. This is the, the, the heart of the city. And this is uh, what's going to provide us with the essential warmth that we need in order to do so much more. All right. Fight the cold, we need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death, stockpile some coal, and start the generator. All right, so I'm gonna straight away push pause the game. Boom, right there. Now, let me explain some things and orient you guys with the, with the game here. Up here is the resources. So we have coal, wood, steel, steam cores, which are, is, we can't actually manufacture steam cores. They have to be discovered as we go off and explore. Um, and they are essential for certain types of buildings, certain types of uh, things that we want to build, like uh, certain tech that we build. Uh, raw food and food rations. Now, raw food, you can eat it if you want to, but if you build yourself a kitchen, basically, you convert each one of these raw food into two food rations, so it's, it's beneficial to do that straight away. Um, this is our temperature. It can be changed to Celsius if you'd like, and this shows basically the heat map of the area. So right now it's negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a little bit chilly. All right, down here, it shows any alerts. So right now we have 80 homeless. That's our biggest concern, uh, society's biggest concern. Discontent is low because I just started, so they're giving me a break. Hope is, yeah, they have about 45% confidence in me, apparently. Over here is a construction tab. So we're going to open up our construction window, and we have tents over here. Basically, they're just that, tents, not really meant for long-term living. Cost 10 wood, so they're very cheap. We have a little medical post, which is basically a medical tent. And we have some food buildings here. We have a hunter's uh, hut, which allows us to send hunters out in the middle of the night to go grab some more raw food. And then a cookhouse, which changes uh, that raw food into actual rations. All right, then we move over here. Resources gathering post, which is essential at the start. Basically what happens is it allows you to gather resources within a certain radius rather than having to go and send people to each direct uh, resource individually. All right. Resource dep depot. When we become survival rich, and we have nowhere <laughs> nowhere else to put anything, we'll build one of these, and we'll stockpile. Okay, tech workshop. We're gonna build this pretty early because we need to. Uh, it allows us to get to a tech tree, 
where we can do upgrades and improvements and discover new buildings and do all kinds of fun things. So we're going to uh, build that pretty early and the more of them we build up to four, the faster you can research one uh, one idea. So one research, you can't, you can't do four at the same time. You can only do one, but the speed will be faster, if that makes any sense. Okay. So over here is a book of laws. It's basically where we we uh, lay down the law and we say how things are going to work in our society. This is where we make our moral and, and ethical choices and, or we stray from them. So adaption, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put those kids to work. Because I tell you what, put kids to work in my own house. I'm going to put work, kids to work in my own city. You know, kids love running and doing errands for you. They love going and get, getting you a soda or, or going and taking that piece of trash and throwing it in a trash can. They're so enthusiastic, especially when they're like two and four. So, I don't know if they're that young here. They're probably bratty teenagers who will just, you know, pout and sulk and and, and uh, sabotage whatever task we give them. But we're going to put them to work nonetheless. Idle hands and all that. So this is a little uh, economy breakdown. This shows all the graphs for those of you that are, like, super, super nerdy. Um, all right, I think that's pretty much it. These are the items that we're supposed to be doing. Uh, right now, fight the cold. Stockpile some coal. At 0 out of 200, so they want us to get 200 coal. Right now, we're at 0. And activate the generator, so we're going to do that. But first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to go back to what I was saying about, uh, where was it? Uh, resources there, just gathering post. We'll build a gathering post. Now see, rather than send people out here and assign them to these tasks, I'm going to actually put this here and it'll it'll send people out from the gathering post. That's pretty nice to have. Alright, we'll just go ahead and build that here. Looks like a good enough spot. And, um, what else do I want to do? I want one here. Yeah, we could go ahead and do that. Put one there as well. Okay, very good. Alright, so we are out of steel, we're out of wood, that's alright. Let's go ahead and get started. As we get started here, they're going to build these gathering posts. And we need a road. We actually need to build a road out there as well. So, let me go ahead and grab some other people real quick. I sh need to grab some wood from these crates. I completely forgot about the roads, that's alright. They'll gather enough wood here in just a few seconds to build enough road to get our uh, gathering. There we go. Okay, perfect. That's plenty. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is just build a road out here. Boom. We'll build a road out here. But a boom There we go. We've barely used any of the wood that we actually gathered. Now, I want to take these people here and get rid of them because by gathering, building... Gathering post is going to do all the work for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put people into the gathering post to do the work. There we go. And there we go. There we go. So rather than have 15, 15, and 15 spread out here, because we do we do have limited amount of human resources here, um, we're going to do 10. It'll, it'll it, we're going to get everything that we need. It'll, it's so much more efficient. So the next thing is I'll take a look here at the generator. Show you guys the generator. So basically it's off right now. Um, we're going to assign some people up here to the coal fields. Yeah, gathering, uh, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put, uh, the gathering, uh, uh, posts up here. But, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and send 15 people up there and 15 people up here. Because we will have enough coal pretty darn quick. So we're going to throw some engineers up there because we don't have anything for them. And you know what? Put those kids to work. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to put them in the gathering post instead. Because... I think it's a little bit safer than exposing them to the elements. So we're going to have the kids go down here to the gathering post where it's a little bit warmer. I do have a heart, see? So what we'll do is we'll take... Let me, let me grab this here real quick. Uh, yeah, let's grab five out of here. And I'm going to throw five in there. There we go. Now i got five more kids, so let's throw them up here. Boom. Or I should say workers. And we got our kids all in indoors, basically. So there, see, I do have a heart. All right, now the next thing I'm going to build is I'm going to build a medical facility. So anybody who gets sick, we've got a place for them to go. And then after that, we're going to build ourselves a little food cookhouse to convert this into food so that people aren't starving either. So we need 20 wood to do that. Let's fire up and get going here. There we go. So there we go. The day's over already. It goes from uh, 8 a.m. to... Uh, 1800 which is 6 p.m. all right and now they're having their free time no roofs over their heads 
yeah, I'll provide some shelter. I'll provide shelter for everyone, or I won't address this right now. So, I'm going to provide shelter for everyone and, and get a nice big bonus when it comes to hope. Um, and hopefully the discontent goes down as well. So, I got to do that within two days. I have two days to do that. So, let's go fire up these uh, the, the generator while we're at it. And that should keep us warm for at least nine hours throughout the night. All right, we need to grab a couple engineers. Where are my engineers at? If you just mouse over the uh, the human resources, the total amount of human resources down here, at the bottom right, it'll show you where your each individual person is right now. I don't where they at. I don't see them. Oh, they're all up, all up here. That's where they were very top of the screen. We're gonna get rid of them there, and we're gonna throw, actually I'm gonna throw five in there, put the other ten back in there, out there in the fields. So, got them in the uh, medical facility. No patients at the moment, that's okay. And we shall just go ahead and fast forward through time here. Local, yeah, I hear you. Wisdom of the crowd, Captain, when facing a when facing demands, remember this, people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree with everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, we're getting a little low on the coal, but that's okay. Illness and health care. Okay, so there we go. Just going to talk. Here's, here's all the little tutorials. If you guys want to pause on any one of these, you can. But I'm pretty much explaining it as we go, so there's no need for you to do that. Okay. Temperature has different varying degrees of temperature, but uh, all you have to do is click on this, and it automatically comes up and shows you what the color colors mean. Okay. There we go. Sh the generator shut down. That's all right, because we're about to get back to work. So people are starting to get a little cold, but that's all right. And we have 80 homeless right now, but we're going to go get some more. There we go. Now let's get a fire back up. There we go. Look at all this coal. It's flying. So. Let me pause it here real quick. Next thing I need to build is probably I need to start getting work to work on the uh, houses. But I do want to get. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we don't run into a problem with uh, providing shelter. Yeah, let's, let's work on the houses. Okay, so we're going to work steel they're maxed out they are maxed out all right let's just keep going as we were what we need is 80 wood because it was 10 per uh, tent right so we'll see if we can get there by 1800 maybe oh we were one shy of course we were all right that's all right we'll do it tomorrow morning but in the meantime most of our guy I hope most of our people will have Um, uh, that's to sleep in. All right, so we have one that we're still out. We're still we're still out one. Uh, shelter for everyone. We're, we're gonna have ten people homeless, I believe. So no worries. But we have plenty of coal to make it through the night easily. Um, so we have about four days worth of coal, which is good. Now the other thing is, even though it's quitting time for them, they continue to build I, uh, buildings during their free time. So that's kind of nice. It's nice that they take on those tasks themselves and don't have to be. You know, have to do it during their regular shift. So we had a sick person, but they got feeling better. So I mean, you, you can see they're being taken care of pretty quick. And if we need to, we'll, we'll build another uh, another one of those. But uh, right now, just ten homeless, waiting for morning time. It slows down at 5 a.m. automatically, or in case, or if there's any huge events, the clock will automatically stop time lapsing. All right, so there we go. Work has started. Let's get that. All right, we got a, we got eleven trees now, eleven wood. So let's build that last one. And we got a little bit of a space there, but that's okay. Right there. And once we have that, we should uh, fulfill our promise that we made, and people should be happy. And you'll see things sort of change here a little bit down here at the bottom. Hope should go up, discontent down, or one or the other. All right, so let's get going here. Once that gets built, it's going to take a minute here to get built. As you can see, we have tons of coal now. Um, we need to build ourselves a little kitchen. So we can actually eat some of this food before we start starving. So this takes three. As you can see, it's a little bit like it has more depth. 
than these some of these other buildings like the clinic and these tents so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually um, the the roads you don't need to allocate space for them or plan space for them they'll automatically uh, fill themselves in between the buildings so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take one two and leave myself another row of houses or clinics or whatever there on, on that so I'm gonna put this one out here it's gonna be a little bit colder but that's okay we'll research something that will help us with that in the near future so that's gonna be the uh, the uh, kitchen and we'll get some kids in there and uh, turn turn them straight up into, into some uh, master chefs kids edition all right see I'm just trying to just trying to give them some work life life skills that's all one sick three hungry ten homeless we're gonna change that here shortly Okay, and then we'll reallocate some resources here. There we go. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relieved with a roof, even a flapping one over their heads. Hope rises. So oh, it was only hope that went up, but that's okay. You'll see it go up there. Boom. All right. Starting to get hungry. Night is coming. Put down your tools. So we'll we'll have them see. Everybody's working on this. They're like, we need a kitchen. We have all this raw food, but we can't do crap about it. So we'll take uh, anybody available. Mm, no, not really. But we have plenty of, of coal, so I'm going to actually take some people from the mines here. And uh, let's get them out of there. Let's put them to work. Um, do we have kids outside? I don't want kids outside. Not really. Okay. Let's throw these workers in here. There we go. And then I will probably build another... Let me do the tech. I'm going to do a tech building here real quick. Workshop. I definitely need to get that started. So, we're going to get that started. They can build that at night during their free time as well. And we'll have it ready for tomorrow. Um, what else do I need to do? Your capacity, yeah. That's a good message to get. It should, should be like, uh, should be so alarming because that's, that's not a bad problem to have. Have that much uh, coal. We're going to build that and then I probably want us to get started on a hunter's house as well. A hunter's hut. Let's get started on that. And we're going to build a road out there. That's what that icon right there means with the little bricks on it, like diagonal bricks. It means you need to attach a road to it. So we're going to go right down here to road. And as you can see, it just goes right along the edge of those buildings. So you don't need to actually even worry about allocating space for roads. I love it. So nice. So we're going to do that. Yeah, things are going to be good. nice. I think things are looking good. At least people are happy and they're not, not too upset. Not too many... Uh, haters out there. Now, I can't get any closer than this. That's as far as I can actually zoom in. Okay, let me read this message here real quick. People from our convoy with basic resources secured now. We try to rescue people we left behind. Build a beacon, scout Frostland, and save as many survivors from our exp expeditions as possible. You'll need a workshop to design plans for most advanced buildings. For more advanced buildings. Okay. So that's what I just built was a workshop. Uh, I have five engineers fail. Boom. There. Go to work, guys. But they're closed right now. That's okay. I do want to also try to stay up to date on these laws. Um, I want to implement an emergency shift. Not that I need it right now, but my main goal is to get to extended shifts because I'd like to extend out these shifts, uh, especially when it comes to uh, uh, research. All right. Do we have anybody here? Let's, let's pause this here. A discontent went up a little bit. Hope went. Uh, hope went. Uh, I think it was just discontent went up. I think hope stayed the same. Let's take a look here, see where I got people allocated. I don't really need people in the mines anymore at this point. How many do I have over? I got I got 30 working over there in that mine. I got, you know, I might, you know what? How many is that? That's 207, 162, 92. I don't really want to build another one of these over there because when these run out, they're they're gone. They deplete. So I don't want to build waste waste the uh, resources building a gathering post over there uh, when I can just hit and hit them as I need them um, so let's go ahead and grab these workers that's going to give us plenty let's put them in a hunting party okay um, free time you know what they're gonna work they're gonna work today they're gonna actually work today um, yeah we'll put them back to work because it's it, right now they'd just be going to sleep they can go out and work in the mines, and then tonight they'll hunt as well. So they get to work double, double shift. All right, good stuff. Book of Laws, I got 17-hour cooldown on that one. 
And let me see your research. I need to actually do a research. I can't believe I wasn't. Heaters for those out outpost buildings or those those uh, outlying buildings. A beacon. I'm gonna build sawmill. You can actually go into the forests that are down here and hook up and set up a sawmill, and it'll start depleting the forest there, uh, rather than just some of this uh, scrap wood that's laying around. So um, that's a lot more uh, long long term oriented. And then steelworks, same thing. You can go over and, and start hitting the uh, uh, so hit the uh, deep deposits. And uh, you can do the same thing with the coal thumper. It actually goes underground, pulls coal out of the ground, and makes a deposit. Like a non-stop, never-ending deposit, pretty much. Faster gathering. It's always nice to have. Gather everything faster. But I think right now what I want to do is I want to get the beacon up, and you guys will see why. I want to get scouts out into the wilderness uh, as quick as possible. So let's do that one. Yeah, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Anybody sick? No. They're just hungry. Everybody's hungry. That's okay. We're about to... Uh, oh, you know what? It's morning. What am I doing? What am I doing? Do I have people in the... I do have people in the cookhouse, right? I do have cooks. I have engineers working in there. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Just uh, so long as there's people in there ready to convert some of this into food. Because I got a bunch of hungry people. that are ready for a ration. And we should start seeing this change into... Oh, it's too cold. Hold on. Inoperative. Yeah, it's too cold. Okay. Well, we'll get there. We hit a cold spell, so everything went down two degrees, or two levels. Uh, which shut this facility down because it was too cold. Okay. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's keep it going. Negative 40 degrees. That is. Let's t turn the overdrive on the inner uh, generator up. It's going to produce a little bit more heat. It's a little. What is this? Chilly? Very cold. Okay. That's cold. Okay. Inoperative because of that. Probably if I would have had it a little bit closer, it would have been alright. But I kind of want to keep my layout the way it is. I'm fine with that. Must be at least chilly inside. <laughs> Must be chilly to make chili. Okay, so we're full of coal. We don't need any more workers on the coal fields at the moment. Let's uh, let's protect them during the cold here. What do we got up here? Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. Okay, let's get these guys inside. There we go. No need to keep them out. Because we have we are full of coal. As soon as this gets researched, we're gonna work on the heaters for the buildings, for the outlying buildings. Probably should have done those first, honestly. Ah, eh, frostbite danger. We must do something. I see, yeah, yeah. I see your I see your feel your pain, brother. I'm not gonna do anything right now. Sorry. Uh coal pile, yeah, let's get rid of that. You guys go inside. I want you guys staying warm. Okay, so let's speed this up. Beacon researched allows us to build a beacon. Let's do that real quick. Pause over here. Beacon. Build that beacon right there. Then we need to build a road to it. We shall do that. There we go. Nice. I think that's enough. Yeah, we'll build it all the way across. We're going to build it all the way over there eventually, anyway. I'm not any, any worries there. No worries there. Uh, next thing we're going to research is the heater. Where's that at? Heating. Heaters for our out outlying buildings. It'll call, cost an extra coal per hour whenever we add a heater to one of these buildings and activate it. But well worth it. As you can see, I, I should be, you know, actually using the kitchen right now. But I'm not because it's too freaking cold because we had this cold spell hit us. And as you can see, it's going to warm up here after day six. It's going to warm up. But uh, he can build. We're no longer lost. will be able to see us. All right. Good stuff. Okay, get that. Man, that is up there. I guess it has to be to get out of that crater. That crater's pretty deep. Honestly, I don't know how we ended up thinking, hey, let's just, that looks like a good spot. Let's just happen to head over there. 
the Lost Expedition. We got an observatory. Let's head over to that Lost Expedition straight away. Oh, you know what? Hold on. What I have to do first, I have to go here and I have to actually have to create a group of scouts. It's going to cost it's going to cost us 5 workers and 40 wood, which we have available. We have 45 available staying in from the cold. Um There we go. We're going to go ahead and send them out 11 hours to arrive and then they should report back. All right. They are on their way. 10 hours, 39 minutes. They, they've left. Okay. Um, we can actually go over here and see them as they progress as well. Okay, what we got going on here? Let's go. People from our convoy ready to search. People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars in the sky. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up eager to go looking for the lost people in the Frostland. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. That's right. All right. So, have we finished researching here yet? Not quite. We're getting there. Let's go ahead and speed this process up here. There we go. It'll be ready by morning, and we'll get the, we'll get these rations taken care of. No, no worries. Oh, they went to sleep. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, can I actually make that wall? Did I already make it? End of shift. Let's do that. I want to do that. So discontent went up a little bit. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Once you guys get fed, you guys will be so much happier. The discontent will go down so much. Hunters. Yeah, let's get those guys out there hunting. What am I doing? Squandering opportunities here. Oh, here. Let's turn off the overdrive before I blow everything up. Okay, very good. Let's pause this. Yeah, has it finished yet? No, not quite. They're they're about to. Yeah, they're about to. As soon as it it's done, there we go. Heater's research. Let's turn that heater on. Get those people in there. It's functioning 32 meals per hour. We're gonna be feeding everybody here shortly. So in about two hours, we're gonna have every almost everyone fed. Wood crates depleted. And uh, let's see here. We want to research something new, of course. So we got the beacon done, resources, faster gathering. That's always good to have, but I think maybe, let's see here, hunter's gear. Let's do that. Let's do hunter's gear. Thanks to better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage, hunter settings, setting out from the hunt, hunter's hunt, hunter's hut will return with more raw food from each hunt, up to 20 pro, raw food per hunt, as long, you know, as long as I have it maxed out as far as personnel goes. So we're going to start that one. That sounds like a good thing to have. And um, let's get started. There we go. You're going to see it. They're, they're being eaten as fast as they can be produced. These people are just devouring these rations. That's okay. Our, our hunger is going down rapidly. And our discontent will drop at the same time. So there we go. One of our people died. No. It isn't so. Lack of treatment. Really? I have... A spot available for you. I have four. Or maybe that was the bed that he fell out of. So, or he got taken out of. All right, maybe. Open a book of laws. People can take care of it themselves. We need a way to dispose of body. Yeah. Let's take a look. I don't know if I am I actually able to. I have to wait four hours to sign a new law. They got cemetery and corpse disposal. Probably build a cemetery. But we'll see. Discontent's going down, as you can see, very quickly. All right, we still have plenty of coal, good amount of wood, good steel, steam is good, raw food, all that good stuff. Um, we're not quite fully researched on the hunting, but they're going out anyway, so hopefully. Oh, wait, we're waiting. Apparently, they have made it to their ex uh, destination. Let's explore, see what they found. So our scouts have found a happy reunion. We enter a camp, it's appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We have been wondering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd have soon we'd begin to starve. Well, we were starving too, but that's okay. We got things under control now. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Site discovered a gloomy cave and a sturdy shelter. Escort the survivors to the city or send the survivors to the city. If we escort them, scouts will set out towards our city and bring the survivors quickly and safely with them. Uh, we'll have four kids, nine engineers, and 22 workers. Um, survivors will set out towards their city on their own. 
it'll take longer and some of them might die so there's an exclamation point say I think what we do is we we escort them back we bring them back uh, they're in a bad way so we need every every hand on deck let's do that and then we can go out and hit these new areas and as you check out one area you'll discover new areas so pretty pretty cool I like it I like it a lot okay it's about to warm up here we're about to hit the hit the spring so to speak and uh, hope is alive and discontent is almost dead hanging on for dear life and I think we just hit the 30 minute mark so I'm gonna go ahead and end episode one here like comment subscribe make sure you tune in for the next episode of this preview series for Frostpunk and if you like it be sure to support the developers go out and grab it and uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be a really great game so thank you so much for watching y'all take care See you in the next one